Recently, I watched About My Father. This is a 2023 American comedy film with Robert De Niro and Sebastian Maniscalco based on certain events from Maniscalco's life. And as always, I'm going to be upfront with you. I did not care for this movie very much. I generally like Sebastian Maniscalco. He has some very good comedy bits. However, it doesn't seem to translate over into good comedic acting. A lot of the times I get kind of a worse Ben Stiller vibe and it takes me back to better films like Meet the Fockers, which I shouldn't be fantasizing about other movies when watching this one. And it's kind of strange considering I love Robert De Niro. Like I said, I like Sebastian Maniscalco. And on top of that, this is a fairly decent idea. Idea. Basically, the film revolves around a guy who is like middle class who starts dating an upper class woman and uh, she needs him to meet the family. He also wants to propose, but he doesn't have the right time and moment. And also he needs to get permission to get his ring from the father to propose with. And when his girlfriend invites him to a getaway with her family, he sees that as a great opportunity. However, because it is a very important holiday to his father, the 4th of July, she actually ends up inviting the father so that way he doesn't feel left out. After a little bit of negotiating with the father and telling him to be on his best behavior, they proceed to go to the, you know, family getaway and everything goes as terribly as you can imagine. Now, I will say by the time that the end of the movie rolls around, I was actually pretty much on board. The final act is probably the funniest and most in interesting parts, as well as has actually decent character growth. There's a couple really lovely moments between Maniscalco and De Niro that felt very, very genuine to a whole other degree because I've had moments of myself talking with my father uh, and having like similar kind of emotional breakdowns in conversation as well. On top of that, De Niro does some like super fucked up shit, which I won't spoil here. But generally speaking, by the time we get around to the end, it uses up the worst bits and starts putting out more funny material and actually providing some character growth. However, the beginning is just unfunny joke after unfunny joke layered on so thick that you'd need a fucking giant butcher knife to cut it. On top of that, a really poor performance from Maniscalco at the start that really felt uninspired and like it really wasn't going anywhere definitely made me feel like, ah, oh, this movie's gonna be complete dog shit. Another thing too is the writing of the family itself is all pretty generic and exactly what you would expect from this type of film, even down to the weird eccentric brother. Although the weird eccentric brother that's a leftist was probably one of the better parts here. He was really funny and just totally out of left field, so I just didn't see a lot of the jokes coming and they kind of just landed better for him. Of course, De Niro is always lovable, even when he tries to play a guy who's like a bad guy, quote unquote. And I mean, if you're a big fan of either, you know, De Niro or Maniscalco, maybe this will be for you. However, for the general audience, I feel like this will probably be more of a mid movie. I think most will find it maybe funny in some parts, but seriously lacking in others. My own personal score is somewhere between a 1.75 to a uh, two out of four stars. It's somewhere uh, below mid to exact. Mid. And if the third act were like the entire thing and it was just through and through as funny as that act and had as good of character development and, you know, laying out the world that we're in, it would have been much better. But what do you guys think? Have you guys seen this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you dislike it? Let me know in the comments down below. Besides that, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That'll pop up during the outro. And you can like and subscribe here for more content like this going forward, including movie reviews and then, uh, you know, coming soon videos regarding movies, etc. Or we have a channel called Game and Sessions where we do similar content except in the vein of video games. So you can like and subscribe there as well to be kept in the loop of, well, all things video games. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next smoking session. Spell or a chance just to open up a newer car